Soil Cancer and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to take a look at your self-care tarot spread for the month of February. In this spread, we are going to take a look at your part in the problem. We are also going to take out what to do right now, what to do a little later, um, what you need to hear, what you should avoid, and then we'll pull a few cards for um, the advice. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. So if there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something in the message for you. I also pull a positive affirmation card at the end of every message just to give it that little positive boost. And lastly, guys, if you do find the messages helpful that it resonates with your situation, please give it a thumbs up, comment below how it's resonating. Let us know um, if it is helping, if it is helpful for you in your scenario, it's most likely helpful for someone else as well. So let's see here, Cancer, what we can see for you for the month of February. Most important message. Um, the cards that fell out there was regeneration or not regeneration, it was orphaned, um, by the book, there was a, um, another one that was, that basically symbolized balance, so let's see if any of those cards come back out. Um, it was all, it was like five cards, so I usually only pull three. Let's see. New life. So I feel like there, with these cards coming out, regeneration and the other cards that were coming out, I feel like there was a situation that you had to walk away from that was very tumultuous. Um, that. I feel like you walked away from this situation to kind of bring balance back into your life. By the book, yeah, by the book again. So, um, when you walked away from the situation, I feel like part of you knew that you were going to have to come back together with this person. Maybe it was a friend, a family member. We have soulmate on the bottom of the deck. A soulmate can be a romantic partnership. It can also be a family member, a close friend, a relative, like a cousin or an aunt or an uncle. Um, but I feel like this conflict that you had with this person kind of had a falling out. And I feel like you knew that you were going to have to come back together with this person. But I feel like you knew there was going to need to be some healing first done and a different approach. Um, and I feel like that's what these cards are symbolizing is that healing. Regeneration can talk about a reconciliation. It also talks about the healing process. If you look, it's like um, a little thorn bush poking out of the lava. Okay. Um, it's also like the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? Healing, rebirth. I feel like you did have some changes that came about in your life from going through this conflict with this person. Um, but I feel like you're feeling very refreshed. I feel like you're ready for this person to come back. You're ready for this conversation to be had and I feel like you know there needs to be a more balanced approach to this okay so let's see cancer um where we are going to go with this reading let's use this deck being called to the gilded tarot for you guys I do feel like you are going to have to kind of play it by the book right follow the rules or abide by some type of rules or just stick to the plan. I'm hearing stick to the plan. Let's see. Most important message for cancer. 
What does Cancer need to see for the month of February for the self-care spread? So the first card, Cancer, that we're going to pull is going to be the issue at hand or the conflict, if you will. What's going on between this dynamic? Let's see. The Cancer spirit. Important message for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to see? What's the issue at hand? What is the issue at hand? On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is an informant or an information type of card. Um, it symbolizes a person who is spying a lot of times. It can also symbolize needing to seek information or needing to seek guidance, counsel about the situation, okay? So here we have the King of Pentacles, and this all came out at one time, so I feel like this is what this is symbolizing the issue here, Cancer. The King of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Wands, okay? So what I see here is there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress between two people, right? Um, one person looks like he's over here on his throne. His legs crossed, looking off into the distance. And one person is ready for battle. I also feel like their backs are turned to each other. Okay, so that leads leads the storyline, if you will, of the conflict matter. Okay, there is a conflict. There's a lot of stress between these two people. One of these people is definitely older than the other. So I feel like this is more of like a father figure, mother figure, maybe an aunt or an uncle. Um family conflict type of dynamic, okay? This is causing a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress. I feel like it's more towards the person who's younger than the person who is older. So however, that is resonating, okay? So let's see. Let's see, um, what do you need to do right now? Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups is an offer. Could be an apology. It could also be a need to be more open-minded. I'm getting this sense here. The Cancers that I'm talking to are symbolizing this Knight of Wands. Okay, and I feel like you're really guarded. You're really, this conflict has caused you to kind of be go within be like um mm -mm, we're not dealing with this person you know just very abrupt very abrasive with your decision in the communication or lack thereof within this dynamic the page of cups could also symbolize an open-minded open-hearted individual so I feel like there may be, Cancer, a need for you to be a little bit more open-minded about the communication in this dynamic. And this older person, I'm feeling, may have the idea that because the younger person... Um, is younger they need to come back and apologize or offer this expression if you will but i feel like the younger person the knight of wands is very as a very guarded a very on guard type of energy right if you look in this card he's very <laughs> protected he has his, his um 
armor on is wand up. The horse has all of his protective gear on as well. All his flags. Ready for battle at any moment. I feel like at some point you're going to be able to let this go, okay? But I get the sense here, Cancer, um, somebody is guarded. So either this is going to be resolved, okay? This conflict is eventually going to end. But I feel like right now, um, there's a lot of defensive, a lot of conflicted type of energy, okay? Um, somebody is having a hard time letting this go. I feel like it's this younger person, so take it how it resonates. But I really get the sense here that um, this knight of wands this younger person is having a hard time letting the situation go okay does cancer need to hear what is the what is the advice for cancer spirit what does cancer need to hear about this situation please and thank you well the eight of swords came out again I feel like what the Eight of Swords is symbolizing is this conflict that you're going through in your head is all in your head. It's all in the way that you're thinking about the situation. Take some time and I'll link below in the description box the review and release video that I put together for you guys. But take some time and do a review and release process, okay? It's definitely going to be helpful in the situation. Whether this is you or this is the other person, there needs to be an apology made. Somebody needs to apologize, even if it's for how you made the person feel or what have you. What have you, whatever simple apology, because I feel like that's going to bring the guard down, okay? There's apologies that need to be made on both sides. Somebody is going to have to be the bigger person. I feel like the pressure is gonna be on the younger person, but I do feel like if this person doesn't come around, taking the first step, putting your ego aside and taking the first step isn't a bad thing, okay? So if you're the older person, Cancer, Taking the first step isn't the bad thing. If you're the younger person, taking the first step isn't the bad thing, okay? Putting down your pride, putting down your ego, and just taking the first step on whatever you feel like you need to apologize for. And I feel like that may be what this review and release process is going to be utilized for. You're gonna be able to go through and look back on the past situation and really take some time to analyze all the stuff that's gone on, you know, and review it practically, not with some rose colored glasses, just very matter of fact, and look at things, you know, look at the positive things and think about those things, really contemplate it, really analyze the situation also look back over the negative things, right? And analyze those things. I feel like this is definitely somebody within your family, okay? It could be a parent, it could be, I mean, it could be a love interest for some of you. We, we do have the Four of Cups, but I feel like this is more of like a family dynamic, okay? With By the Book um, coming out as well. Um, I get the sense here that once a, even just a simple apology is made, it's just going to open up the doors. It's going to be like the key that unlocks the treasure case, if you will. 
I do get the sense here, Cancer, that this coming back together, this reconciliation is something that you really want. This at least having a conversation and um, getting closure to the situation. I do feel like this is kind of like a reconciliation type of situation here. Um, not so much of a love, but like a family member, like I said. Okay, so take some time to review and release this. Not so much release, but I feel like the review process is definitely going to be helpful for you um, to get clear on where exactly you want this conversation to go with this person or what exact apology do you want to have? Family conflict resolved. Let's get a couple cards for your advice, Cancer, okay? The advice for Cancer Spirit, what does Cancer need to see here? The advice for Cancer Spirit. Advice for Cancer for the month of February. Stand your ground. Stand your ground and be open for communication. We have the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, and the Eight of Wands. Being open to communication is going to help with bringing this person in. I do feel like there is apologies that need to be had on both parts, but someone's going to have to be the bigger person here. Get this, get this handled. Cancer. So, I feel like there is a completion to a cycle here. I feel like there has been, you know, there's probably been a lot of minced words, a lot of negative things said. That's probably why it's hard for each of you to come back together, um, which is understandable, but it's going to be necessary. Okay. Do feel like it's coming it's coming soon so this review and release process is going to be helpful in knowing what you want to say if this person is the one that comes back to you I am going to do an extended reading cancer we'll take a look at the person's intentions you know what they're thinking about try to get a little bit of an idea on that We'll also look at where this is headed, potential outcomes. Um, we'll pull out the psychic tarot. We'll pull out the guidance cards and we'll also pull out the soul truth deck. So if you guys are interested in joining us over in the extended version, you are more than welcome. The link is below. So let's see here, Cancer. For you, the Power Thought card. I trust the process of life. This card comes out a lot. There's a lot of trusting in this process. There is a rhythm and flow to life, and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Cancer, that is the message I have coming out for you guys. Again, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.